At a beautiful restaurant called The Elephant in Fu Mi Hung, customers are excitedly starting to arrive. The smell of delicious plates of ban gong is everywhere. As the customers are cheerfully walking in, the waiter is starting to arrange the seating. Almost every day, people arrive at the elephant just to get a taste of mint shallots, meat, wood ear mushrooms, and so many spices just in one dish of ban gong. After waiting for their order, the eager customers finally get to eat ban gong. Ban gong is important to Vietnamese culture and it is sold in many restaurants and at food stalls around the country. Most Vietnamese people only eat ban gong in the morning, but it can be eaten all day. Ban gong was created in the north of Vietnam. The ingredients to make it are minced shallots, meat, wood ear mushrooms, rice batter, and so many spices. All of these ingredients are connected to different landforms in Vietnam. For example, wood ear mushrooms are found in the forest on elder trees. Meat is also an ingredient to ban gong, but you don't get it from the forest. It comes from animals. Another connection to the land is rice batter. Rice batter is made from rice, and this comes from many rice fields in Vietnam. Because the sustainability of ban gong is so connected to the environment, one threat to ban gong is if people use the ingredients to make something else, like spring rolls. There might not be enough ingredients to make both. Another threat to ban gong is poor food quality. Customers who eat it will think ban gong is bad or that it is not yummy or healthy as it seems. The last threat to ban gong is loss of interest. Restaurants could lose money if people get bored of ban gong. An expert at making ban gong said, <laughs> Though there are many threats to ban gong, there is still hope for it to be sustainable. Ban gong can be sustained by people being allowed to add their own toppings to ban gong and make it more interesting for themselves. To fix poor food quality, chefs making ban gong should have experience doing it. If the chefs don't have experience, customers might not like the product. Finally, we should spread the word about ban gong to many different countries so that everyone knows about it. We think that ban gong will always be a favorite food of Vietnamese people. People really love it. It is an important part of Vietnamese culture that we hope is around for a very long time.